Let's dig into what really separates water softeners and water filters with nuance, context, and a sense that these are real life choices, not tech specs on a brochure. Below, I'll walk through each comparison point you asked for, not in a sterile list or dry technical terms, but as a guide who's had to make the same decisions. Purpose. Let's be clear, water softeners and water filters aren't rivals locked in battle. They solve different problems. A water softener's main job is disarming hard water, that is, water loaded with minerals like calcium and magnesium that leave behind scale, make your soap less effective, and generally drive you crazy with stains or shortened appliance lifespans. Water filters, on the other hand, are all about safety and taste. They target unwanted substances, chlorine, lead, pesticides, weird odors, and sometimes even pathogens. If your issue is that your shower feels rough, laundry stiff, or pipes are corroding, you're looking at a softener. If you're worried about what's ending up in your coffee cup, a filter takes the lead. Health benefits. Here's what matters. Only water filters have a meaningful impact on the safety of what you drink. Water softeners are champions at comfort, not health. They don't remove harmful contaminants. They only swap minerals for sodium or potassium, making lime scale a thing of the past but not making your water any safer in terms of bacteria, chemicals, or heavy metals. Water filters can make a tangible difference by removing lead, chlorine, and other nasties. They reduce risks to your health, especially important if you have kids or immunocompromised folks at home. However, for certain at-risk groups, even softeners matter, because over time, minimizing mineral buildup may prevent indirect issues, like bacteria harboring in scale. But for everyday safety, filters win. Typical installation. Let me explain how these typically show up in homes. Water softeners almost always get installed in a whole home setup. They sit at the point where water enters your house, safeguarding every tap, shower, and appliance from hardness damage. Water filters are more versatile. Some are designed for a single faucet or refrigerator, Others, like whole house filters, treat incoming water for all uses. There are even specialty filters, like those for wells or those targeting specific contaminants, which might sit under the sink, on a countertop, or in your water pitcher. The difference is about coverage. Softeners blanket the whole house by necessity. Filters can be strategic or comprehensive. Key benefits. This is where the rubber meets the road. A water softener fixes problems you physically notice. No more chalky films on dishes, no brittle hair, longer lasting washing machines, and less wasted soap. There's a tactile pleasure to soft water you can feel. It lathers better, feels gentler on skin, and saves you effort. With a water filter, what hits you first is often taste and smell. Coffee tastes right, water is crisp, and you know you're not swallowing invisible pollutants. Some filters go well beyond the basics, removing bacteria, parasites, and heavy metals for the kind of water quality you'd otherwise pay for in a bottle. Each delivers a distinct daily benefit. So imagine your priorities, then choose. How it works. Now for a bit of science without getting lost in jargon. Water softeners use ion exchange. Calcium and magnesium ions in water trade places with sodium or potassium on a resin bead inside the tank. Every so often, the system regenerates, flushing the accumulated minerals away and reloading the beads with fresh sodium or potassium. Filters, though, come in flavors. Activated carbon absorbs chemicals and odors. Sediment filters catch visible dirt. Reverse osmosis forces water through a membrane fine enough to block almost everything but water itself, and UV filters zap microbes. Some systems combine several of these means. Maintenance. Both systems need a little love to do their jobs well, but they ask for different things. Water softeners, especially salt-based ones, require regular refills of salt, maybe a cleaning here and there, and periodic checks for bridging or clogging. Most water filters need the actual filter element swapped every few months, a task you can't ignore, as a clogged or maxed out filter is worse than none at all. Some filters, like reverse osmosis membranes, need special attention and occasional deep cleaning, but broadly, changing filters and topping up salt 
are the chief rituals. Water pressure and flow rate. Something people don't always anticipate is the hit your water pressure or flow rate might take. Water softeners rarely cause a noticeable drop in pressure if properly sized and installed. They're designed for whole home flow. Certain water filtration systems, notably reverse osmosis or some multi-stage systems, can slow your flow, especially if cartridges aren't changed regularly or the system can't keep up with demand. If you're particular about powerful showers or filling a tub quickly, make sure any filtration setup you consider is rated for adequate flow. Taste and aesthetics. While both systems can affect taste, they do so in distinct ways. A water softener will often leave water tasting slightly salty, particularly in locales with very hard water and high sodium exchange, noticeable mainly to sensitive palates. Water filters, especially activated carbon or reverse osmosis, are designed to strip out tastes and odors, leaving water neutral and crisp. If taste for drinking water is your main concern, a filter matters more, but if you're comparing aged pipes and scale to that faint softener tang, you'll want to weigh what you consider a worthwhile trade-off. Does it make water softer? Here's the simplest answer you'll get all day. Only a water softener can truly soften your water. Filters, even the fanciest, do not. If your concern is lime scale, deposits, or the telltale drag on your skin after a shower, a filter won't help. Only a softener swaps out those hardness minerals and gives you the feel and benefits of soft water. Does it purify water? On the flip side, water softening is not purification. If you need to remove chlorine, pesticides, bacteria, or heavy metals, a water softener alone won't cut it. Water filters, on the other hand, are designed exactly for that task, taking out the things that make water unsafe, unpalatable, or unhealthy. It's common for people to assume softeners clean water, but all they do is swap minerals. You still need a filter for a truly purified result. When do you need one? If your water leaves white marks, your appliances are failing early, or you need more soap to get things clean, you likely need a softener. If you taste chlorine, worry about what's in your city or well water, or want to guarantee safe drinking water for your family, and nest a filter is essential. Simple as that. Can they be combined? You might wonder if it's overkill to have both. The truth is, many homes do. Placing a softener first tackles hardness, protecting pipes and appliances, then routing water through a filter removes tastes, odors, and contaminants. The two systems work together, not against each other. The order can matter. Filters last longer without scaling, and water is more pleasant to drink and use. Bottom line. After all, water touches nearly every part of life at home. Whether you're after comfort, cleanliness, or peace of mind, picking the right tool, softener, filter, or both translates your concerns into real, lasting results.